Back with another five minute feedback, this time on madewithspark.com by David Lindahl. Let's jump right into it. Uh, first thing I noticed, there's some source code or some triple ticks leaking in here. It looks like, yeah, maybe a copy and, uh, copy and paste. So probably fix that. I did like that you're using Fathom. That's pretty awesome. Uh, made with Spark, pretty descriptive. That's good. A curated collection of projects made with Laravel Spark to showcase its awesomeness. i would make this a little bit wider, maybe throw this on one line and kill this second paragraph. Uh, it's kind of just re-explaining the same thing and doesn't really need to be there. Next, uh, I think that this whole hero area just like lacks a little bit of character and I think you could do a number of like really simple things to kind of spice it up. I have some ideas, some examples. Uh, first thing, throw some sparks in it. That'd be pretty easy. Just grab a Photoshop brush and create a text layer or a, a background layer and throw some sparks. Uh, you can throw an item in there, like a big thing, like a, you know, hello, uh, <laughs> what are these, bullhorns? Uh, you know, you could throw some beckoning cats. I don't know, just anything uh, to give it a little bit of a visual, uh, you know, anchor so people remember it exists. Next, featured products, since there's only one and it is the site that it is on, the Made with, Spark, Made with Spark site is the only featured project, I'd probably kill that until you have another featured project or two. Um, it just seems a little bit odd, you know? Um, Next, we've got the projects list. You've got uh, kind of two different animation timings here. There's the the instant text card drop shadow, but there's a slower color fade. I'd probably kill the color fade, just go with the the shadow, like the card lift. I think that's fine. Uh, the, the color, because it's some character, adds some flavor to the site, and I would probably just do that. Uh, also, the par this this pagination, I'd make this big and chunky, like meow, more uh, backwards, forwards, more, less. I don't know. I, I like sometimes having a little fun with this, like more over here or back the way you came or something, you know, just a little more flavor. And then the footer, you got the home and the submit buttons here, links, but you also have home and submit here because you've got a sticky nav. I think you probably could just kill that, tighten this up, give a little more padding, put your copyright, whatever, uh, in there, maybe... Uh, maybe Twitter in the footer. I don't know, not super important. I'd probably also um, make these cards, like the whole thing clickable, or at least make the image clickable and the uh, the H2 or this title clickable. It's really just this one link to get there and it's, um, it's just not enough of a click target for me. And I'd probably also remove this view count, at least until the numbers were really big. It seems like, oh, you know, like, Nobody comes here, which is, you know, it's new and there's not that many people, not that many sites on it. So, you know, don't worry about it. Um, not to be dishonest or anything, but you can just hide uh, stuff like this until you have more significant uh, information. Um, what else? We got the submit project form here. My first thought when I saw this was that these were like selectable and I was like locked into the promoted option, like this $10 a month promotion thing and that I maybe wouldn't submit a project because I wasn't sure like if I was gonna get the free one. Also, I don't know, I'm assuming that this, when you have a promoted one, it goes into that featured spot, although it's not perfectly clear. I'd describe that. Uh, I would maybe uh, make that unlimited projects for that price or make it a one-time fee. I think if that is in fact the same thing as this featured product, that pricing model is not working. You've got I don't know, 20, 30 projects in here and nobody's paying for it. So I'd change that. I don't know, it looks like, you, you know, just dropping the price as a monthly subscription, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. Uh, and lastly, the project's Twitter. I'd, you know, not everybody has a Twitter account. It's not clear whether this is the project, like the developer or the project owner, you know, if it's a client site. So I'd probably make this more clear, like designer or developer's uh, URL and let them choose if they want a Twitter or a personal site because not everybody has Twitter. Um, I'd space these out a little bit. Um, also, made something awesome with Laravel Spark. This is title case, but it's not um, It's not a proper title. This is this is like a, a sentence. You're speaking this to somebody. Lowercase s, lowercase a, lowercase w, uh, capital L, capital S. Add it to the collection below. Um, same thing goes there. I just give this a little bit more space. But overall, I mean, this is a nice looking site. It's a nice uh, service. And uh, I just noticed it also, okay, there it is. Yeah, I maybe, add some, I don't know, make this a little darker or a drop shadow or something because I missed that the nav was there. I don't know, just a little thing. Um, boom, 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 boom. I think that's it. That's all I got. Um, I hope it goes well for you. A couple tweaks might 
uh, help it to jump out a little bit. And uh, I hope that this is a good little side hustle for you.